I know that my time in the House of Commons, particularly during the Diefenbaker period, was a time of acrimonious <laughs> debate. And I look back on it now as sometimes exaggerated, but on the whole very pleasant. You enjoyed it? Oh, yeah. I enjoy, I enjoy the thrust of debate. Yes. I enjoyed the House of Commons. Mm. I am a House of Commons man. Well, this is the home of uh, the Honorable Paul Martin, located in perhaps one of the most picturesque parts of Windsor, known as Old Walkerville, on the city's east side. The home, like its owner, has become a landmark or even an institution to the many people who live in this, one of the most important industrial cities in Canada. Well, the glory days are behind him now, but Paul Martin keeps working here at his home the former Secretary of State for Foreign Affairs, senior member of the Senate, Canada's High Commissioner to Great Britain, scholar, lawyer, and now author, is still working at the age of 81. If people feel keenly about an issue, uh, they should fight for it strenuously, always within bounds of decency, I think. But they shouldn't be afraid to be energetic and combative. After all, uh, it is far better to be combative, to be polemic for great issues. Right. And when you think of the kind of society where there are no free debates, where there is no freedom, I think you would much prefer a place of real oratorical battle. But there was one person whose impassioned oratory was not appreciated by Paul Martin, nor by his Prime Minister, Lester Pearson. French President Charles de Gaulle's infamous Vive la Québec Libre caused quite a turmoil in Ottawa during the French leader's visit to Quebec. I, I was the one that called Pearson. I heard it. I was in Montreal, actually, but not at the City Hall. I was in the government car listening to this, what went on listening to his speech. And when he said, Vive le Québec libre, then I said, well, my gosh, this is the end of our relations. I called Pearson at once, got him out of bed, told him what happened. He said, I must come to Ottawa at once. And we had an immediate cabinet meeting. And the cabinet decided to tell him that his speech was unacceptable. And that was correctly taken by him as an invitation to leave the country. I didn't fully agree with that. I didn't like what de Gaulle had said. But I wanted to give him a chance to correct his position. And I'm sure that looking back on that, I was right. Because the mayor of Montreal, Drapeau, told me two days later that they he and Premier Johnson had taken issue with to go after his speech.